Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the start device on your refrigerator. It's a really easy job. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need access to the back of the refrigerator. So we're gonna pull it far enough forward and then unplug it. Once we've done that, we can start the repair. Now that we have access to the back of the refrigerator, we're next gonna remove this lower access panel. Simply remove the Phillips head screws. Then lift the panel away. And we'll just set that aside. And we'll locate that start device in the side of the compressor. So next we're going to remove that. Now that we have the back panel removed, our next step will be to disconnect this wire harness. There's a connector at the top of that opening. So we first need to depress the locking tab on the end of the connector. And pull that off. Well, next we'll remove this ground screw. And if your model uses this style of cover over that starting device, you'll need to remove that mounting screw on the side. And just lift that away. That will expose one more screw the ground wire attaches to, and we'll need to remove that as well. Next, we're going to just pry off that connector on the side of the compressor. Now, once we have that connector off the side of the compressor, we'll pull that whole assembly out. Now, if the model that you're working on has a different style of thermistor start device than the replacement one, you'll need to remove the components from the inside of that cover and then transfer the new components onto the old cover. If they're identical, we can simply just discard the old piece. Now, next we'll need to line up the harness connector for the compressor and the wire end will face down. And we simply need to line up these three sockets with the pins on the compressor. And once we've lined up that connector, make sure we press it firmly onto the pins on the compressor until it bottoms out. Now next we'll reconnect those ground wires We'll attach the short one to the compressor housing first. And next we need to line up that cover. We'll start by setting the bottom in first. And we're pressing down on the top. Pull it into place and then attach the retaining screw. We'll then connect the second ground wire. And then reconnect the main wire harness. Make sure it's pressed firmly into that socket so that the locking tab engages. And now we're ready to put the back panel on. Now in installing that back panel, you may note a couple of tabs across the bottom. Make sure we hook those in first.
and then we'll secure it with the retaining screws. And now we're ready to turn the refrigerator back around and push it back into the cab. Now that we've reconnected the power, push the refrigerator back into place, our repair is complete.